a lot of companies buy an all-flash array and then are suddenly surprised that they're not getting the performance that they expected and certainly that the vendor quoted as they start to implement that flash array. And so let's look at what some of the problems are there and really what it leads to is overcoming the all flash letdown. So let's talk about how to do that. So first problem, let's frame up the uh, problem here is we've got Oracle databases, I've got a virtualized environment, I've got a SQL cluster. All of those are really ideal for an all flash environment. The problem is what we typically see happen is we replace the hard disk array with flash and that's it. So the first challenge you have is this network is now exposed for, for what it is. Uh, in a hard drive world, a bad network could hide behind the latency of a hard disk system. In a flash world, there's nothing to hide behind. The flash is going to respond as fast as it can possibly uh, give data. So almost immediately, you need to look at this network and see if it's time to upgrade it. I would say typically we're looking at 16 gig uh, fiber channel here uh, or at least uh, 10 gig Ethernet. The other thing you want to check on the network is make sure you have end-to-end -end data integrity checking. So we want to make sure that data that starts here when it gets to the flash array is exactly what we sent. And so having integrity checking becomes important, especially as these speeds start to accelerate. So it's not just buy more bandwidth, it's also make sure that that data that's going across that bigger bandwidth is more efficient and effective. Now, the other thing we need to do is really think about data protection, right? If you think about data protection, what do we typically do? Uh, so we probably have a backup disk target. And the, the time it takes to move data to that backup disk becomes a problem. And more importantly, recovery now is much slower. Because now, remember, these app, the users of these applications, SQL, Oracle, the virtual machines that are in that cluster are now used to almost instantaneous response from the flash array, especially again once you've upgraded the network. So now we need a new paradigm when it comes to backup. We need faster uh, technologies. We need to be able to uh, essentially transfer data directly uh, to the backup system instead of going back across the network. Uh, we need to be able to potentially launch images from the backup disk. So that backup disk has to actually perform pretty well. Now, there are several other things that you can do in an environment after you get an all-flash array to really optimize its performance. By the way, these are great things to know about prior to getting an all-flash array. So if you're getting ready to buy an all-flash array, really valuable to know this information as well. Now, in our upcoming webinar, we're going to go into a deep dive on overcoming the all-flash letdown and give you five practical ways to maximize the performance of your all-flash system. And you can click on the link below, and that will take you right to register for that webinar. Thank you for joining us. I'm George Crump, Lead Analyst with Storage Switzerland.